We are good on the field. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. And in this match, qualification 57, we have the second and third ranked teams in the Hawaiian Kids and High Tide. And it shows, it looks like the Blue Alliance and the Red Alliance both got the quintet in autonomous mode. I'm fairly certain that's the first time we've seen both alliances do that this competition. The gray box for the Red Alliance, grabbing some cargo for their team, launching one, missing, and then getting the second one in all the while. High Tide launches two and two more into the high hub for the upper hub for the Red Alliance. Sea King's Robotics having some issues with their robot. It looks like it's completely powered down, meaning that this is now a three on two situation. But High Tide and the Graybots aren't giving up just yet. Nerd Herd 687 for the Blue Alliance trying to play defense against these two very powerful robots, letting the Hawaiian kids and Robo Bronx play offense for the Blue Alliance, and they are keeping up. This is going to be a close match, people. We've got two pieces of cargo into the upper hub for the Red Alliance, following two pieces for the Blue Alliance. It's 66 to 64 with 50 seconds left. Graybots landing two pieces of cargo into the upper hub for the Red Alliance, followed by the Hawaiian kids. High Tide landing some last minute cargo for the Red Alliance. It's time for these robots to start climbing in their hangars. Here go the Graybots. Can they make it onto the upper or the high hub? Sorry, high run. There goes High Tide swinging with seven, six seconds left. Can the Hawaiian kids match it? Yes, they can. Graybots are still on the middle run as time expires. Well, the Red Alliance with a score of 94 to 86. Four ranking points for the Red Alliance for the car.